All right, so we got a Phoenix HP 22 here, and uh, do a safety check. So we're all clear. Um, I've had a couple requests to do a video on this gun. Uh, super cheap gun out of the box, um, but it took quite a bit of work for it to be reliable. Um, this is obviously not the original color. I did this Duracoat myself. Um, it, I bought the silver or stainless colored uh, gun. So with this one, I got one magazine with uh, out the extension down here, um, and then I decided to buy two extra magazines um, and. The extended barrel, um, and I did it to match the gun. I had originally bought um, a black extended barrel, um, and it got damaged, so I bought another kit um, that was the same color as the gun. This barrel, actually, I get worse accuracy than than this one. I don't know if maybe since these are not uh, put out with the guns. Maybe they're not machined to match. I don't know if these are either. I, I really don't know. Um, but I do get better accuracy out of the shorter barrel. Um, when I first got this gun, um, whenever I'd pull the slide to the rear, the um, it would not go back into battery. It would hang up right around here, uh, somewhere around this area. Um, and I couldn't figure out why. Took everything apart, um, sanded it down, I say sanded it down, polished all the uh, contact points um, and it got a little bit better uh, and, but then I found out where it was really rubbing and it's back here on the hammer um, and it was actually catching it on the way forward it was really really rough um, so what I did was um, I polished the underside of the slide where it resets the hammer um, and that fixed all my problems um, I also replaced the uh, recoil spring with a new one, bought a set of five for like eight bucks or something really cheap. Um, and that made the gun uh, function a lot better. Uh, it's not the most reliable thing, but uh, that probably has to do with the ammo. I haven't really had any malfunctions that were the gun's fault um, that I can think of. Uh, let's see. It is really heavy. Um, and I don't know if I would suggest it to someone looking for a first gun. This is just kind of like a fun gun. Every time I go to the range, I shoot this gun. No matter what I brought to shoot that day, um, this thing always gets shot. I've probably put uh, about 2,000 rounds at least uh, through it. Uh, they recommend to shoot only standard velocity. I've shot everything through it. Um, and it works great. What I really like to shoot out of this is the... Uh, Calibri 22 powderless. And I have some sitting over here. If you guys haven't seen this stuff, definitely need to check it out. Uh, it's made by Aguila and it says Calibri. They used to have a Super Calibri, which uh, was a little bit faster, but I haven't seen it in a while since they re uh, they, they changed up all their marketing and all their boxes look different now. Um, so this is the Calibri. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's somewhere less than 400 feet per second, and it's 20 grains. Super cool stuff. Uh, really fun to shoot in this gun. You can shoot it in the backyard, um, and it's really quiet, especially with the long barrel. Um, a couple things that uh, people don't like about the Phoenix 22 is all the redundant safeties. Uh, they are kind of ridiculous. Um, there's one where the gun has to be on safe to drop the magazine. You can easily defeat that. Um, so that gets rid of one. Um, and then you also have your firing pin block up here. So, but anyway, just kind of wanted to show the gun off. Um, I really just covered it because I was bored. And to match um, one of my AR 15s.
There is one pin uh, that always seems to work loose and it's right here. It's the very first pin, uh, mo forward most, they're in the grip. Anyway, it's right behind there. Um, and it'll actually start to work loose and come out and it'll push the grip out. Um, I need to stake it. I think that'll, uh, that'll keep that from happening. Um, it does not have a last round bolt hole open. But um, yeah, anyway, it's a pretty cool little gun. Um, decent accuracy. Um, but I really just wanted to post this video so you guys could see the coding job. Um, and maybe a little bit of the wear for how much I've shot it. So you can see in there where I've polished the, that ramp. It's a little bit dirty because shot it a little bit today. Training some new shooters and uh, let them fire this gun a few times. They brought their own weapons, but like I said, I always bring this thing to the range just to kind of beat it up. Most of the wear on this gun is actually on the slide. There's not a whole lot here. You can see the contact points um, right here. And um, those can be polished down. This this is, can really be a great gun once you fix a few little issues. Uh, just kind of rough out of the box. Um, if you got any questions, put them in the comments.